Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Checking the Pulse of Rescue Nation brought to you by X Cancer. Check them out at xcancer.com. This doesn't need to be a long show today, ladies and gentlemen. I just watched Scott Frost Monday press conference. I'm going to interview Ty Robinson here in about five minutes, so check that out. It's going to go out on Wednesday, okay? But I want to talk about something that Scott Frost was asked about. He was asked about the run game. He was asked about the offensive line. And he basically said he doesn't want to single out the old line. Said that the running backs, okay, played well. He said the offensive line did struggle in the first half. Gave up two sacks in the first half. Played better in the second half. Okay. Um, He said the offensive line's firing off the ball a little bit better. But they can still get better and be more consistent. And then he was asked about the consistency in the run defense or the lack thereof, said that's got to get better. But this is the part I want to get to. And I spoke about this a little bit last week. And what he said he wants to do this week in practice, he wants to do more ones versus ones. What that means is the first team offense versus the first team defense. All right. Obviously, better competition, more up tempo, bigger, faster, more physical, more what you're going to see on Saturdays. You do need to see reps from the scout team so you know what your opponent's going to do Saturday. But I love doing more one on ones this week in practice, getting ready for Georgia Southern, for Oklahoma, and going forward, if I'm being honest with you. Now, Here's some more things he had to say, because he was asked about tackling specifically, and he said, we work on tackling all the time. We get as many or more live reps than most. The one thing you can't get is to get too much of is too many live reps in practice. And he said, there is no substitute for live bullets. He also added that they weren't able to do it as much last week. He didn't explain why the logical conclusion for not being able to do it last week would be coming back from Ireland. Now, first and foremost, this week, thank you. Okay, the only way we're going to get better is if we practice harder. We practice more intensely, okay? And these are hard practices with some ass chewings that are incorporated throughout them as well, okay? So for me, I'm happy to hear this. Now, and this isn't a gigantic deal. There's really nothing you can do at this point now. But as far as not being able to do it last week, if he's referring to the long trip back from Ireland, you know, I understand that. I'm not the coach, but if I was... I would have done it anyways. I would have done more live stuff last week. I would have gone one-on-ones last week. I know you're tired. I know it's a long travel. I know it throws off your schedule. It's kind of the exact point I'm making. No excuses. Okay, tougher mentally. You want to be tougher physically? You got to be tougher mentally first. I don't care if you're exhausted. Okay, you had an FCS opponent that you're going to respect coming in, which was North Dakota putting ourselves in these shoes last week. I would have done it anyways because we got to get tougher mentally in order to get tougher physically. Now it's last week. I understand where he's coming from. I've just on the mindset, no more freaking excuses. But this week, one-on-ones, I like it. And it's about time. Frankly, should have happened more often leading up to the first game, going back to the spring, camp, all that stuff. That stuff's in the past. All you can do is try to get better as quickly and as fast as you can right here, right now. All right. Let me know your thoughts. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Comment below. Do you think I'm crazy about last week? Do you agree? Do you disagree? All right, until next time, Husker Nation, go Big Red. Have a phenomenally, phenomenal week. And always remember, throw the bird.